Fatima al-Zahra did not only defend the concept of Imama, Fatima al-Zahra defined the concept of Imama. Fatimah al-Zahra alayhi salam defined what is the role of the Imam? What is the job of the Imam? How do we know who the Imam is? The Imam is chosen by Allah. The Imam has to be a ma'soom. The actions of an Imam, the actions of a ma'soom Imam are hujjah upon us. The Imam is connected with the unseen. The Imam has knowledge of the Qur'an. The first thing she mentioned is that the Imam is chosen by Allah. The imama is chosen by Allah just like the prophet is chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We cannot vote for someone and consider this person an imam. We cannot choose someone through force and say this person is the imam because the imam is someone who represents Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second point that Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam pointed out when she would speak to the Muslims is that the Imam, the chosen leader has to be a ma'soom. The chosen leader has to be an infallible. Meaning that this person does not sin. Meaning that this person does not forget. Meaning that this person does not make mistakes. We believe that the prophets and the Imams are ma'soom because Allah chose them. So Allah makes them ma'soom because how can Allah send someone for us to follow and this person makes a mistake? If I go and I make the same mistake, then I tell Allah on the day of judgment, you can't judge me. You can't punish me. I'm making the same mistake that this person made and you chose this person. So this is why it goes against the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for Allah to send someone, appoint someone who makes mistakes. Allah says in the Quran, إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيُذْهِبَ عَنْكُمُ الرِّجْسَ أَهْلَ الْبَيْتِ وَيُطَهِّرَكُمْ تَطْهِيرًا Allah purifies the Ahl al-Bayt in the Qur'an. Allah removes all of the rich, all of the filth, and then Allah purifies them. وَيُطَهِّرَكُمْ تَطْهِيرًا The third point, that the actions of an Imam, the actions of a ma'soom Imam are hujjah upon us. The actions of a leader, that is appointed by Allah are proof upon us. So when we see Rasulullah do something, when we see Amir al muminin this means that this is halal. This means that this is mustahab. This means that this is something that's okay. The fourth point that Fatima al-Zahra teaches us about the Imam, the role of the Imam, is that the Imam is connected with the unseen. The Imam is connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's a connection. The Imam, he is the one that is connected to the sky. He is the one who is connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are many things in this life that we do not see. There are many things that we cannot comprehend. There are many things that we do not realize in this life. But the Imam is connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in the Quran, وَنُفِخَ فِي الصُّورِ ذَلِكَ يَوْمُ الْوَعِيدِ وَجَاءَتْ كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَعَهَا سَائِقٌ وَشَهِيدٌ لَقَدْ كُنْتَ فِي غَفْلَةٍ مِنْ هَذَا فَكَشَفْنَا عَنْكَ غِطَاءَكَ فَبَصَرُكَ الْيَوْمَ حَدِيدٌ Allah says, when we are alive, our image, our vision is blurred. We cannot see reality. We cannot see things clearly. There are many things in this life that we do not see clearly. Once we die, فَكَشَفْنَا عَنْكَ غِطَاءَكَ We'll remove that veil. We'll remove that curtain. فَبَصَرُكَ الْيَوْمَ حَدِيدٌ 
then you will be able to see clearly once you die. But the Imam, he's connected with Allah. The Imam, he has a clear vision from day one. The Imam's vision is not blurred. Amir al Mu'mineen, he says, لو كشف لي الغطاء مزدت يقينا. My certainty would not increase because I have reached عين اليقين. The fifth and final point that the Imam has knowledge of the Quran. وما يعلم تأويله إلا الله والراسخون في العلم. Who are the راسخون في العلم? Who are the ones who have been given knowledge? Allah says in another verse, فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Ask أَهْلَ الذِّكْر Ask the ones who are, who know about the dhikr. Ask the ones who have knowledge of the dhikr if you do not know. Who should we go to? Rasulullah says, and this is narrated by all the Muslims, Sunnis and Shias. They say that أَهْلَ الذِّكْر are أَهْلَ الْبَيْتِ in another verse, Allah says in the Quran, إِنَّهُ لَقُرْآنٌ كَرِيمٌ فِي كِتَابٍ مَكْنُونٌ لَا يَمَسُّهُ إِلَّا الْمُطَهَّرُونَ Who are the purified? إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيُذْهِبَ عَنْكُمُ الرِّجْسَ أَهْلَ الْبَيْتِ وَيُطَهِّرَكُمْ تَطْهِيرًا Who has knowledge of the Quran other than the Imam? Who has knowledge of the Quran other than the ones whom the Quran came down in their household? The Prophet, he has the knowledge of the Qur'an and his holy household. No one else has knowledge of the Qur'an. They are the only ones who can explain the true meanings of the Qur'an, the true tafsir of the Qur'an. The Qur'an is not always clear. Allah says in the Qur'an, هُوَ الَّذِي أَنزَلَ عَلَيْكَ الْكِتَابِ فِيهِ آيَاتٌ مُحْكَمَاتٌ هُنَّ أُمُّ الْكِتَابِ وَأُخَرُ مُتَشَابِهَاتٌ there are some verses in the Qur'an that are not so clear. There are verses that are confusing. Sometimes we see a verse, we don't know what this means. We need the Imam to come and explain the verses to us. وَأُخَرُ مُتَشَابِهَاتِ فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ زَيْغٌ فَيَتَّبِعُونَ مَا تَشَابَهَ مِنْهِ ابْتِغَاءَ الْفِتْنَةِ وَابْتِغَاءَ تَأْوِيلَةِ Fatima al-Zahra salam told the Muslims. She tells them that you will never find the true meanings of the Qur'an if you do not take it from the Ahlul Bayt.